So once the users are created in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, uh, the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and do some settings in the Microsoft Teams. And the easiest way that you could locate or go to the Microsoft Teams sites is Microsoft Teams Admin Center is just go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, go to Teams, click on Teams, I mean, and then you are directly into the dashboard of the Microsoft Teams Admin Center and the website that you could use to log in to the admins uh, Teams uh, site is admins.teams.microsoft.com. All right, the one thing that you should do basically is go to, for example, voice and go to calling policies. And in the global organizational wide configuration, just make sure that all these settings are disabled. Okay, so I have disabled this already, but uh, just to show you again, so you have to disable the settings, uh, just because you want to use the calling features from Cisco Jabber or WebEx Teams and not from Microsoft Teams. All right. And the next settings that you want to do is also for meetings and in the meetings, go to the meetings policies and make sure that for the global organization wide policies, the meet now option is turned off and the outlook add in is turned off so that uh, you could test properly the WebEx meetings feature from the uh, WebEx uh, Microsoft Teams client. The next thing that we are going to do is log in to the Cisco Unified Communications Manager and then set up the directory URIs for these users. Usually you will not do this part because this would be basically uh, updated with the Active Directory user uh, synchronization with the Cisco Unified Communications Manager. But here we have a different uh, email address than the one which is being synchronized with the Active Directory because it's coming from a different uh, uh, different Active Directory synchronization, that's why. But anyhow, let's forget it for now. The, let's uh, forget the confusion for now. What we have to do is just search for uh, the user, for example, A. McKenzie and just click on the Cisco Jabber for Windows device and make sure that the directory URI is set up as a mckenzie at traincollabinfo.onmicrosoft.com. So that's the test uh, Office 365 domain that we have right now, right? That's why we do not have the active directory integration directly with this domain. If you want to have this, so then you need to have a paid account on the Office 365 side and then probably you could have uh, a domain like this or, or a special domain, you know. So for now, let's forget that. Let's have a manual directory URI added here so that we could test the calling functionality. But for the practical purpose, it would be a seamless integration when you import the users using the Active Directory you know, into the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, the directory URI will automatically be populated because uh, when you import the user, you say, okay, hey, import the user with the directory URI field, field synchronized to, let's say, email, you know? So that way, the directory URI would be a mckenzie at yourdomain.com or your domain could be anything, you know, cisco.com or company.com or whatever. So in my case, it is traincollabinfo.onmicrosoft.com. But that's that's manual directory URI right now because I do not have a direct active directory integration. No problem, we can still test because we could add as, num as many directory URIs as we want, right? So click on save apply config and reset the device in the same way i would pause the video and i would go ahead and update the directory uris for the other users as well
All right, so the directory URIs for the other users have been updated as well. And uh, yeah, that, that was uh, one of the things that you should do for the uh, testing of the Jabber calling from within the Microsoft Teams, all right? Now the next step is to add all these users in the WebEx Control Hub one by one. So I have already added these users, but for the sake of uh, visibility, what I will do is I would uh, show you guys how do you add the users in the WebEx Control Hub so that uh, they have access to the WebEx meetings and then also to the WebEx Teams client for messaging. So now I'm logged in to the Cisco WebEx Control Hub. The way you log in is via admin.webex.com and you are onto the overview page and uh, if you want to add the users just click on users and then here you will see all the users in case you want to add another user just click on manage users so there are different ways to add users so you could add it manually or you could uh, bulk upload the users okay so we'll, we'll do just one user for now so that's why i'm doing it manually and i will say via the name and then let's say uh, Bob uh, Johnson or Marley okay and then it would be B Marley at train collab info dot on Microsoft dot com so that's how my domain is you know if you remember the office 365 domain is train collab info dot on microsoft dot com and the user id is b marley i would add this user and then i would say next and you see this users to be added or modified is bob marley and i will give him the access to cisco webex team meetings and webex enterprise edition and then I would go ahead and say add user. Okay, so we have successfully added Bob Marley in here. I would go ahead, uh, I would create an account for Bob Marley. So I would go ahead here. Um, I could also go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. If you go here and see that um, in the active users, Usually I haven't created Bob Marley. So I could go ahead and say uh, Bob Marley. And then this is this and then B Marley at traincollabinfo.onmicrosoft.com. And then I would create my own password, which would be Okay, and then click on next, profile info, and the office phone number should be something relevant. I would just take an example phone number here, and then I would say next, and then you could click on finish adding. This is all the information about Bob. That's bparley at traincollabinfo.microsoft.com. And here you will see that Bob Marley has been added so if bob barley has to activate his uh microsoft uh, sorry webex teams account what happens is usually uh the webex control hub will send an email to bob marley and then bob marley has to just click on activate link that has been sent and uh, create a new password for himself but if it's active directory synchronized in that case, you will not need to create any password and your password would be synchronized with your Active Directory. Okay, so that's how it is. Uh, I could also even log in to the uh, Bob Marley's Outlook 365 account, Office 365 account, and then activate his account. I would say B Marley at traincollabinfo.microsoft.com and that has to be D 
I have now logged into the Bob Marley's Outlook 360 Outlook Office 365 account. Here you go. There's an email and it says that you have been invited for Cisco WebEx Teams and you could just click on this big blue activate button and then it will ask you to create a password for your WebEx Teams account and WebEx Meetings account. So I will go ahead and create a password for it. Save and sign in. And I am signed into my Cisco WebEx Meetings. All right, so this is how you will create the users in the WebEx Control Hub. And if we go and have a look, I already have this accounts created and activated. So if you go to Bob Marley, uh, the Bob Marley should be activated now as well. So if I just refresh the page and click on users again, now you should see that Bob Marley is active. All right. So in the same way, I have added Adam McKenzie. I have added Anita Perez. I have added Charles Holland. I have added uh, Monica Cheng. If you see, they, these users already exist with another account, you know, cb125.dc-03.com. And I have added with the different email address. Usually you will not do it, you know because all the users in a control hub will have the same domain in which your WebEx site belongs to or your WebEx control hub organization belongs to. For the testing purpose, for the demo purpose, what we have done is we have created another account. You know, it could be a Gmail account as well that works totally fine. All right, but we have uses, used a Microsoft account just to show you the integration between Microsoft Teams and uh, uh, Cisco Jabber and Cisco WebEx Teams and Cisco WebEx Meetings. So as you see, we have already created and activated the users and the next step would be to start with the further with the scenarios related to calling and uh, WebEx meetings.